Good morning everybody from camp. Hello, hello. Welcome to day five. You'd have seen it in the title, but me and Brad here are trying to figure out which day to which. So yes, day five. We're now gonna have some breakfast together before we go to my auntie's and go on the Jacobite cruise in Loch Ness. So this is our platter for the day. Here's Brad. We're very excited. Oh yeah. We've got fruit, croissants, jam, coffee, yogurt this morning, a nice healthy one because for the past few mornings we've had sausage, bacon, eggs, toast, all the rest of it. So we are both oh my little bees come to join us. Oh <laughs> oh hey. There we go. Oh, it's coming on the camera. Um so yeah, we just want to have something healthy. Our bodies are, what's the word? Keen for something healthy. So the sub breakfast this morning. So enjoy day five, everybody. See you later. to Tesco or Aldi to get a couple of supplies and then we're heading heading to Inver Inverness. Oh, I can't even talk today. Yeah, you never talk. Always got my words modelled up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Brad's okay. driving. I'm passenger. So I'm, that means I'm the filmer. Which means we'll get there alive. Rude. <laughs> okay, let's go.
zones up here in Loch Ness. But most of that land, especially to our south, is high land. So that's across 2,000 feet, but we get it up to about 2,500 feet. And we've got one where you get high land, you don't get trees. You get bare, small land and hillside. And up there where the heavens for over generations doesn't break down in the rain and fills up a great big, deep, thick organic layer. Dark brown and full of organic moisture. And then when the rain falls, it filters down through the beach, picks up the real steady that's flying on the flagpole. Up on that high point there, that part of the castle was constructed in the 30th century. And then over the centuries that followed, the castle was expanded and remodeled and redesigned and it passed from hand to hand. At times it was part of the Scottish crown, then the English crown. It moved into the hands of various clans. The Lords of the Isles had, it, had their hands on it for a while. All sorts of people with hands passed through it. The last people who were owners of it were the castle to fall into the hands of the Jacobites. As they left, they packed back in blowing the castle up and destroyed the central part of the castle but the Grand Tower at that stage was fully standing. The Grand Tower itself, it lost the southern elevation that you can see is missing now. That was blown off in, its gr in a great big storm in 1715 which was rather imaginatively titled the Great Storm of 1715.
one year millionaire, as you can see. He hasn't even got a boat. Yes, we'll see what the matter arrives. at Dodgeball House as a guest of the babies. He alighted at the pier that you can see on the left-hand side at about 10, 11 o'clock and then entered through what's now known as the Prince's Gate, a fairly modest gate through which he came. But he was very impressed with the house. He returned back to Queen Victoria and said it was a very fine house indeed. He liked the style so much at the time, the Queen and the Prince were building their own property on the Isle of Wight in England, the Osborne House, and they used the modern, what was then modern Italian style uh, as part of the basis for the design of Osborne House. long hair, aren't they? Yeah. God, you look burnt. Hey, dear everyone, look at Brad's face. That's the end of this little scene, so to speak. Yes. So yeah, we're just on the Jacobite cruise of your auntie. Yeah. It was really, really nice. And she loved it, bless her. She really did. So we're just gonna go back and spend some time with her. Yeah. And then we shall see you back at camp. Definitely. We'll Woo! see you later on, guys. We're now gonna go and have some drinks, have a Chinese and chill. Absolutely. Bye-bye. See you in a bit. Good evening everybody. Hello. How are we all doing? Happy Friday. <laughs> Happy Friday indeed. So yes, we've just got back from spending the day in Inverness mm -hmm. with your auntie and seeing the rest of the family. 
as well as being on the Jacobite Loch Ness Cruise, yeah. as you saw from the, the video just now. Yeah, incredible. It's amazing. What a place. It's absolutely beautiful. Really, really good. And I would highly recommend that Jacobite Cruise, by the way. Definitely. And that, just so you know, if you're looking to book that, that's a contemplation tour. And that's going from Dock Garrick to up to Urquhart Castle and back again. It's a two and a half hour. Or two hours or two and a half? Two hours. It's two hours. Two we we hour sail from 2.30 to 4.30. Yeah, but it's the only one with disability access. So yeah. it's worth noting, but it was absolutely outstanding. It was certainly lovely. was. Really, really, really good. is worth doing. You know, it wasn't that expensive either. It was, I think, I paid 27? 80, 80 something altogether for the three adults. That was about 27 quid. Yeah, ish. yeah, about 27 pounds per adult. Yeah, well, I think they do like discounts for like a family or something like that. Yeah, they do. Yeah, um, but, but yeah, it's definitely worth doing. It's really, really nice. You know, the people on board were really helpful, so helpful, really attentive. And the guy that was doing all the announcements, he was really knowledgeable. Like, he knew a lot. Yeah. Like, fair enough, it's his job. That's what he does every single day. We learned some really cool stuff today. We did. You may probably heard him in the, in the, in the videos, because some of them were actually near the speaker when we was recording. Mm. So, but yeah, it was really worth doing. Yeah. It was lovely. And then we sort of chilled back and had a little Chinese with your auntie and her family didn't we yeah we did so i say her family your family yeah so that, that was, was lovely nice. so we are full from chinese certainly are yeah just drove back down the a9 from inverness to abbeymore now in the 10 just popped open a little bottle and happy friday and we're chilling it's happy fine. friday we're chilling absolutely so the winds now start to pick up as you yeah, probably hear it has. <laughs> so yeah we're just gonna finish our last little glass of drink and then we're saying goodnight. Yes. So we're going to say goodnight to you now. And then we'll say goodnight to each other following this. So yes. Thank you for joining us on day five. five. Thank you. Don't I'm forget to like and hope. subscribe if you wish. Yes. And we shall catch you tomorrow. Tomorrow's tomorrow is going to be more of a day of ch chilling. On-site stuff. Isn't it? Yeah. Corny's hoping to get a paddleboard. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hopefully watch the fall in. I will be falling in plenty of times, so I can assure you. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I've so, never, yeah. never done it before, guys, by the way, but I've, it's something that I've always wanted to do. So I'm excited to try it. Absolutely. You'll love it. Yeah. It's good fun. All right, then. We'll catch you tomorrow for day six. See you later. Bye. No matter.